Teen Tiger TV attended the annual holiday stroll in Wallingford, Connecticut to explore what the town had to offer during this holiday season and to also ask what the people thought of it. Here's what we found out. Hi, I'm Freddie Lopez from Teen Tiger TV and I'm here at the Green Kettle uh, on Center Street in Wallingford. And how's your first time experiencing the stroll for Wallingford? Yeah, it's been really great. It's only been a few minutes at this point, but I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Have you ever been a part of a, this before? Uh, no, today's my first day open, so I've uh, walked around but haven't been open as a business. Uh, where can people find you to get some coffee? Yeah, we're at 208 Center Street in Wallingford, right in the stroll. Uh, what is the Hubcat and uh, what does it do for the community? Hubcat is a diverse community center. We're a business. We, we bring back, we bring together the business, education, and community together. We run training programs for the different services in town. We get uh, uh, we find people jobs. Uh, we work with small businesses, start up small businesses. Uh, we help them get started and give them all the background that they need to be as successful as they want to be. In today's event, what do you have here? This happens to be a pop-up store event to the different vendors. Gives the area people a chance to see what local people can produce. Uh, what is all this stuff for and uh, what do you think about the stroll this year? Yeah, so um, my name is Tyler Jones. I'm with uh, Wallingford Lacrosse here. We're at the Hubcap at the Wallingford Stroll here in Wallingford. Uh, so this is all uh, merch we're selling. I'm um, kind of getting people excited about joining uh, Wallingford Triton Lacrosse. How is it to be a Wallingford community member uh, for the Wallingford Stroll? No, it's great. Um, Love the town of Wallingford. Um, happy to be part of it and, uh, you know, support. Come on down and, um, you know, support our local community here. There's a lot of great restaurants opening up and the doors are open to all the local shops. So excited to see the, the, the downtown really kind of blow up. Have you been uh, to uh, Stroll before? Yeah, I mean, I moved here probably like four or eight years ago. Um, and then we've been to the Stroll a few times for sure. It's been fun. This is my first time working behind the booth here, uh, kind of on the other side of the other side of the glass. So, um, but yeah, this Stroll's, um, you know, a little bit early. We'll see. We'll see how the people roll in after dinner. So we'll be. I'm excited for it, though, for sure. What is it uh, like to be on the stroll this year? And uh, what is uh, your business? Well, I'm very happy to be here. Growing up in Wallingford, it's lovely to be a part of the community um, and hopefully help the community find gifts for people this year. All of our flowers are locally grown. They're grown right on our family farm, and I press them, preserve them, um, and sell them. So. Oh, when did you start your business? So this was actually a COVID project. I started about a year and a half ago and started posting on my social, and it's just progressed from there. I'm here at the Coalition for a Better Wallingford, and uh, what are these trees all about? Hi, Freddie. Thank you for asking. Um, tonight is the Festival of Trees. It's sponsored by the Coalition for a Better Wallingford. It's our largest fundraiser for the year. Um, what we've done is we've reached out to many um, individuals, families, and businesses, organizations in the community and ask them to sponsor trees and many of them have stepped up. Um, we have a gorgeous selection and it just proves the support the community has for the coalition. Um, what you would do is go to any of the trees, like for instance we have the New York's Giants trees. It would include all the items on the tree and um, there's some gift cards and snacks, hats, um, and each of the themed trees um, we would select a winner at 9 o'clock at the end of the evening and uh, we'll let you know if you win or not. But it's it's a great cause. Um, come down and support the coalition. Hi, I'm Ben Negron from Teen Tiger TV and I'm here at Catalyst Art Studio with... Alyssa, hello. Hello, Alyssa. How are you today? Good, how are you doing? This place looks beautiful. Thank you. It, tr it smells very Christmassy in here. I like it. Yeah. Maybe it's wood. I don't know. Could be wood. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about your involvement in the stroll and how much sure. it means being a community member. Yes, I've been doing this stroll for several years now um, and we're really excited. We've got um, a lot of fun things for the kids to do in here. Um, ceramics and stuff like that. I love being a part of this. Every year it gets more and more um, busy. As you can see, we've got, a, we've got a lot of people attending this year and I'm just happy, you know, when we have the nice weather. It's, it, it's a fun time.
me about this tree here. It's really cool. So I was happy to find this tree at the end of Christmas, and then I had to wait a whole year to use it, but I did get it at a discount. And then, <laughs> but it's my favorite tree, and I we just have some of our ceramics that we have for sale on it that you can come in anytime, like Saturday and eight. Awesome. Yeah. I'm here at Elizabeth's Bakery with Arturo. With Arturo. Arturo, can you tell me a little bit about what you guys are doing here for the straw? Uh, we're giving out some free cookies, some free cake samples, uh, just a little bit of something. A little taste of ours, of our bakery. Awesome. <laughs> I'm here outside Lenny's with... Nadine. With Nadine. Nadine, tell us what you're doing out here. Uh, I'm handing out free apple cider, and in case people want a little alcohol, a little kick in it, they can go inside if they're 21 and up. How's it feel being part of the straw? You're from Wallingford, you said? Yes. I I have lived here for like 14 years now. Okay. Do you do the stroll often? Uh, we usually join the stroll mostly just by handing out free cider, but we're inside. This is the first year we decided to sit out here because it's more of a family event. Yeah. Like, we don't want kids to feel like they can't have apple cider. Yeah. And um, outside of Tata's with... Addie. With Addie. Addie, can you tell me a little bit about what you're doing? Um, we're selling baked goods for a dollar for Shein. For Sheehan? For yeah. just Sheehan School? Or are you for part of a team? Class of 2025. Oh, for the class of 2025. Yeah. How's it feel being part of the stroll? It's nice. I like the atmosphere, I like the music and everything. And I'm here at the public library with... Zoe. Sebastian. And Sherry. So we stopped in here while we were on the stroll, and we stumbled across this cool invention. Can any of, can you tell us a little about, about this? Yeah, so uh, this is a robot participating in what's called the first robotics competition. We built this last year over about uh, 12 weeks of competition, and cool. then like another couple months after that to get the end product. We have a little bit of like a climbing mechanism for monkey bars, and as well as a turret shooter. Oh, wow. Yeah, and we're from Chote. It's just Chote Robotics. Chote, Chote, right? oh, that's awesome. Did you guys, was the stroll of any importance? You just wanted to be here so people could stop in and see? Yeah, I mean, we wanted to focus a lot on um, outreach and being able to present, uh, you know, sort of more of the STEM area to younger kids and younger folks around okay. the area. Um, so that's, you know, one of our main goals um, as like a robotics team. Yeah. That's awesome. Especially thinking about how not everybody has the same access to STEM education. I think we're really uh, lucky to have what we have at our school for the STEM program and just being able to bring that and share that with the wider Wallingford community is really important to us. Oh, well, thank you guys. Um, actually, can we get a demonstration maybe? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm handing out free apple cider, and in case people want a little alcohol, a little kick in it, they can go inside if they're 21 and up. <laughs> Cut. No, no, I'm playing. Um, <laughs>